Now let's take a look at advertising. Advertising includes all paid messaging that is designed to drive traffic to either your physical location or your website. Advertising can be done independently or with an advertising team. Professional advertisers typically want to identify what your advertising budget is and then create a media plan around that budget. Typically, an advertising budget is around 10 to 15 percent of your annual income. That is, most of the time, businesses spend about 15 percent on marketing. And you might have heard in the past or you might have even experienced it yourself that when a business is doing poorly marketing and advertising is the first thing that they cut this is one of the biggest mistakes a business can make cutting your advertising and marketing budget can destroy your business Advertising is such an important part of your revenue stream that I actually spend much more than 15% of my revenue on my advertising. I personally feel like if a company is struggling, advertising should not be cut. If a company is struggling, the management should look internally to determine where jobs are be where there is job overlap and how they can work more efficiently with a tighter team. Then the advertising money can stay where it is and and then the human resources overhead can be adjusted. This is the best way, in my opinion, to run a business, especially a business that's just starting out. Oftentimes, when you're starting a business, you'll experience highs and lows for the first four to five years. Some businesses don't even make money until they've been around for two years or more. If you cut your advertising budget every time you experience a low in the market, you're not gonna get very far. Advertising is so important in establishing your brand and making sure that people understand who you are and what you stand for, much less what products you offer. If you don't advertise, people don't know who you are, bottom line. And again, advertising and public relations are not the same thing. You can post on social media every single day, but you're only reaching the people who follow you. Advertising expands your audience to all of the potential customers that could be interested in your offerings, even if you don't know them. And it's all based on demographic and interest. For example, I can develop an ad in Facebook. I can target the demographic and the demographic's interest. I don't have to know who they are. I don't have to be close to them. I don't even have to be in the same city as they are. I just punch in the demographic information and their interest, and I put a number of value on how much I'm willing to spend to engage that particular audience. Over the course of a couple days to a couple weeks, I will begin to generate traffic coming to my website that I would not have been able to reach if I did not spend the money in marketing myself. Advertising and marketing is so important to the longevity of a business, and it really differentiates businesses from hobbies. If you are really interested in creating a business that's sustainable and is going to last the test of time, you're going to have to identify your advertising and marketing budget. And you're going to have to be real about letting go of that money in the hopes that it will drive traffic to your website or your business. These days, when you work with an advertising firm, they're going to focus on social media. Their primary focus is going to be on social media, both organic posts and paid advertising. They take a multifaceted approach where they blend PR and advertising together into a marketing plan. This is not my preferred approach. In fact, I have shied away from working with professional marketers for the last three years because I feel like my traditional marketing training yields better results. I've seen over the past three years how I can take an advertising budget and apply it to a marketing plan 
over the course of a month to six months and generate a return on investment of over 700%. Basically, what that means is that for every $1 I spend on advertising, I make $7 on top of that. And this translates to really big money when you start looking at big ticket items. Traditionally, advertising yields 1.9% return on investment. That means that for every dollar you spend, you make that dollar back and 90 cents on the dollar. That's traditional advertising. Traditional advertising includes print, TV, radio. Now that we have social media, our internet advertising return on investment is up to 109% on average. That means that for every dollar you spend, you can expect to make back $1.90. I have seen return on my investment of up to 700%. It really can be extremely lucrative to spend the money advertising your services and products. In order to do it efficiently, you do need to have a marketing plan. A marketing plan lays out your marketing strategy and the channels that you plan on using. It also takes into consideration your marketing budget and helps you to stay on track financially. Without a marketing plan, you're really shooting fish in a barrel. You have no frame of reference, and it can be a very scary experience. I recommend that you create a marketing plan either independently or with a marketing professional. That you lay out your marketing strategies over at least a month, but as long as six weeks and that you take time to test different marketing strategies to determine which works best. The first rule of thumb to note is that holiday promotions should be reserved for mattress holidays. What does that mean? If a mattress store doesn't have a promotion around the holiday, it's not worthy of a promotion. The second rule of thumb to take into consideration is that Large advertising companies use certain holidays to test their marketing strategies for the traditional holiday season. For example, July 4th is traditionally used by big time marketers to test their marketing strategies for Black Friday and all of the holidays that fall within December and January. Therefore, if you decide to market during that time, June 18th to July 4th, you're going to pay a substantially higher price per click than you would any other time of the year. It might be a good idea to create a marketing strategy where you lay low while the big companies are spending their money. That way you don't have to compete with them. Another tip to consider is throttling. Now, there are many different opinions on throttling, and I've heard some people say that it is not necessarily something you want to do, and I've heard other people say that it's a good idea. I personally can see a huge difference when I throttle my advertising. Throttling means that you pay your full advertising budget per day during the week, and then reduce your ad spend on the weekends. I have experienced success using throttling to control my ad spend, but some people say that it actually slows your ad spend down. You can play with it yourself, but I have found that traditionally on the weekends, people are less likely to purchase and more likely to bounce from your site than they are Monday through Friday. If they're more likely to bounce and less likely to purchase, it stands to reason that I can keep those advertising dollars in my pocket until the customers are ready to bite.